hi everyone and good evening uh, we have the all india rank 1 2 and 9 luckily together with us of alit 2023 so alit is all india law entrance test which is an entrance test for the national law university delhi so guys the result was out i think an hour and a half back uh, mostly i think a couple of hours back so has it has it kind of sunk in um, so i'll kind of start with abhinav who was all india rank 1 so has it sunk in uh, abhinav that we are not that really. yeah um it's still difficult to believe yeah um, i actually rechecked twice or thrice and then i showed it to my mother and said ki please pad ke batao padhi likha hai na one so i must say it was very very difficult to believe but it's beginning to sink in now and i couldn't be happy couldn't be happy shubham and deepal has it kind of sunk in or it's still you know it hasn't sunk in yet huh. uh, i it hasn't sunk in yet and i'll like i am just so surprised right now and so happy <laughs> like i just like i was not even aware that the result is going to come i heard like i further notification at 7 and yeah. after, like in 10 to 15 minutes the result was out i mm. just saw me right time of i just started shouting happily my family was like what happened deepal i think for me i mean it was even i wasn't expecting it at all hmm. also yeah it hasn't sunk in yet and for me i didn't even know the result was out i saw the message that abhinav has got air one and then i was like oh the result is out <laughs> and then i went and i checked this would be cool i think would be a i mean were you guys expecting it i mean were you guys expecting even kind of cracking a lit i mean especially a lit being the the kind of the toughest elite ever i mean definitely 2023 elite was the toughest elite ever very unexpected um, very abrupt so were you expecting it to crack or let's say even if you were you're expecting uh, expecting it to crack were you expecting these ranks i mean so yeah um, i expected a good rank uh, but air 1 was expected i was unexpected i definitely thought that there would be someone above me so i expected a good rank but one was absolutely unexpected the rest of you huh. uh, i'll answer in three phases the first one is after the paper no i do i, I can't get any new delhi then if after checking the answer key okay maybe i'll get it a little bit like 40 50 rank borderline then if after the result <laughs> rank to so it was in some way unexpected like I was expecting an LU Delhi after the entry, but I did not expect a single digit rank, and I had to rank two. That too, huh? Rank two is like really high. I mean, really high rank. And your, uh, I know, batchmate has scored a one, so that would also be a good. Uh, that would also be a good study buddy kind of a feeling, yeah. Deepal, expecting an All India rank nine in elite or? I don't uh, I, no. <laughs> in fact, I checked my answer key today. because i was anxious and i didn't want to ruin flat because of alet so i checked it today and after that also i was like it's on the border line i watched her sir's video and he said that 80 is the cut off so i was mm. like i don't know if i'll get in or not but anyways i was like okay whatever U3, then i wasn't expecting it at all u3 will be batchmates in either nlu delhi or i'm not asking your scores uh on this interview right now i know your scores already you would be batchmates in uh, national law school bangalore as well for sure so <clears throat> like uh, how did you manage elite this year i mean this was the the toughest elite ever very unexpected wo paper ka pattern hi bahut ajeeb tha as in a single passage uh, asking you questions on multiple sections so can you just recall that feeling uh, when the moment you the the moment you had the paper in your hand and jaise tum log ne paper khola hoga so what was that feeling i mean what was kind of going through your mind yeah um, anyone i would say it was sheer horror at first um uh, i thought ki maybe there's a misprint in my paper hmm. but i realized ki no, this is not a misprint hmm. um so first i just went along with the first passage as it was and i ended up spending 15 minutes on the very first passage so i thought to myself ki yaar if i continue along this way then i wouldn't be able to maybe even attempt a 100 questions hmm. so what i did was first to 
boost my confidence i went to gk uh, i solved gk which thankfully was easy uh, and after that i came back and i realized that since english is my strong suit it would be a good thing if i solve all the english questions first and then give whatever remaining time i have to logical hmm. so after gk i came back i solved all the english questions first and after that i just solved all those in logical which seemed easy hmm and that how i did it i ended up attempting 128 questions and that's that's a lot of questions in uh, this year's elite yeah shubham okay just 2 minutes before the exam I, my mind was like this english 30 minutes gk 5 minutes rest logical and that i was just repeating that and then i opened the paper and for the first 2 to 3 minutes i was like okay <laughs> what am i going to do now hmm. and like Uh, i just go through the paper once like what is coming like what are they giving and then i understood like okay they are just asking a passage and then asking legal like sorry logical and english question we've done it so for the like for one minute i just paused and thought okay like right now everybody every all the friends are panicking because this pattern is completely out of, out of the box for me like the be- the best thing to do right now would be to forget this panic and just focus on the paper and give my best Hmm. so like due to all the mocks i've given i was able to magically control my mindset at that moment and i just focus on the people uh, my my basic strategy was like after seeing the people i'll try to attempt as much as possible hmm. uh, i'll i'll fall english and legal like i'll fall uh, like one passage at a time both the questions together for one hour then in 5 to 10 minutes i'll do gk and in the remaining time i'll do whatever is remaining in english and logical But that was my strategy. That was very difficult to manage your paper, na? When you, I mean, जब एकदम से paper खोलो और एकदम से कुछ अलग सा दिख जाए, very difficult to manage that. But I, I think, I think a lot of times we have discussed that कि Elit is the most unexpected paper, especially in the last uh, couple of years. So just be prepared for anything and everything. Yeah, Deepal, how did you manage the paper? I mean. surprisingly i did exactly what abhinav did so first as soon as i opened the paper i was like what is this and then i remembered what karan sir told me he said very clearly that this is a test of adversity quotient as well so i remembered that so that definitely helped me and then harsh sir he said what is everyone's problem is no one's problem and i think that that's really what helped me get through this exam otherwise i don't know where i would be right now anyways so uh, i also started with i looked at this and i was like okay this is not going to work out if the way i usually do it because usually even i start with english 30 minutes then i go to gk and then like the order the normal order so then i i went i finished gk first and it was easy so it obviously gave my confidence a boost and then i went and i did english all the english questions first because i was relatively better with english and logical the questions were a little twisted and weird and i didn't want to get into that and miss out on english where i could score so i did english and then i moved on and solved logical i was able to do 122 so yeah so how many questions did you attempt shubham <laughs> i attempted 143 questions 143 questions okay <laughs> so 128 122 and 143 that's a lot of questions to attempt so i think uh, b- before we move ahead i think one question that i would ask i like to ask uh, all three of you how is how is elite preparation different from clat if if at all it is as in or it is just about managing d day you can you can kind of prepare for clat you are automatically prepared for elite and just managing it those 90 minutes in a in a kind of a healthier way or there is something i mean did you guys put in some extra efforts for elite or you always had this elite in the back of your mind to kuch alag hai ki similar preparation se apan wo examination bhi likh sakte hain what do you think um i didn't really do anything different for elite i just did some analytical reasoning a day before the exam hmm. and in elite what ultimately matters is how much you are able to keep your wits with you like anlu delhi always has some aces up its sleeve yeah it never the one paper will never have exactly the same pattern as the year before hmm. so going in i knew to expect the unexpected hmm. and hmm. as for preparation i really did not do anything different i just uh, practiced some analytical reasoning a day before that hmm. hmm 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 hmm, hmm. 
शुभम एट फर्स्ट लाइक बिफोर एलेट वॉज लाइक लाइक प्री पॉइंट आई डिड नॉट डू एनीथिंग स्पेशल फॉर एलेट बट आफ्टर एलेट वॉज प्री पॉइंट आई लाइक आई हैड दैट थॉट दैट इफ आई टू गुड इन एलेट आई विल हैव अ लॉट ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस फॉर क्लैट एंड इट विल हेल्प मी इन माई क्लैट पेपर सो वॉट आई डिड वॉज आई लाइक माय एलेट प्रिपरेशन वॉज बेसिकली जस्ट माई क्लैट प्रिपरेशन प्लस सम कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ एनालिटिकल रीजनिंग एंड वन लाइनर जीके दीपल Yeah, I think they're broadly the same. This the core asks are similar. Just analytical reasoning is different. So I did do analytical reasoning from R S Agarwal, and mm-hmm. apart from that, uh, one or two days before the paper, I think I did do the session that you took analytical reasoning, and mm-hmm. I also did the previous your questions, and I just reviewed all my vocab words and stuff, and I went and I gave the exam. And one line was G K whatever Pankaj sir class uh, classes in. All the PDFs that were shared to by legal, I, I just saw those. I just, I mean, I just went through them once. Yeah. Uh, what What would you want to suggest? Because now you guys have experienced CLAT as well, and that was kind of different too. And you guys have done good in the examination. Whether you would want to believe it at this stage or not, let me tell this to you on records that you guys have done brilliantly in uh, CLAT twenty twenty three, and you have cracked ALIT with those single digit ranks as well. so what would you want to suggest to your juniors i think how somebody who is who is an aspirant for clat 2024 and in fact uh, alet 2024 as well so what would you want to suggest as how they should be looking at the next one year of their preparation yeah bina um i think um if i have to give one tip that is the most important of all i would say read the newspaper Hmm. um throughout my entire preparation i have found that there is absolutely nothing more important than reading the newspaper hmm. so read the newspaper give mocks analyze mocks and do it regularly and even on one more thing which is very important is don't get complacent about your scores like if you happen to score very well in a mock that's great but the day that you're satisfied ki ab ho jayega that is the day ki uske baad nahi hone wala tumhara Okay. So don't be satisfied with your scores and keep reading the newspaper and just keep your head with you on the final day. So you mean that one has to be extremely critical on oneself during the preparation. Um not even extremely critical you can obviously be happy that you did well in a mock. Hmm. But um for example something that happened with me personally um uh in the second sample paper uh, for CLAT released by the consortium I scored well and after that i started thinking ki ab to ho jayega hmm. now now there is no need to worry hmm. but believe me after that for two weeks my scores felt constantly they started constantly falling hmm. so after that it was after that i realized that this sense of complacency is very very dangerous hmm. like push yourself obviously be happy if you do well in a mock but hmm. keep pushing yourself for ever higher scores don't be satisfied with how much you already have that's hmm. next shubham something from your side for all the aspirants ah, yes. i think clat and elite 2024 uh i mostly agree with abhi now like newspapers are very very important they played a like huge role man reading was very bad before i started clat the only thing i read was like cool textbook ha huh. so like newspapers boosted my reading speed a lot and also gave me a lot of vocabulary and also like they helped me in gk they give you an idea of what is happening around you which is good for like even Uh, eliminating gk options and etc hmm uh, and also mocks are very important in my preparation i think i gave around 80 to 100 mocks and uh, i and i had the same problem as abhi now like in june or july i was already scoring like 120 130 in like a few mocks so i was like completely over confident and like i uh, i started i stopped working hard hmm for like a month or two and my scores just started falling hmm. and उसमें 
like that's how i pulled myself and uh, myself back together and my scores were like good in november so i was confident about giving both a written class and that confidence helped me hmm. so you kind of you say that peaking at the right moment is also i mean during your final months of your preparation it is kind of important to peak there hmm. deep uh, yes i would uh, i would also like to add one more thing like uh, for the mock like before writing the mock think that you are writing the actual paper but after writing the mock think that it is only a mock like you will only have a practice score because like after you give a mock you will either get like completely happy like completely fat it will like just ruin your like time of the day like you will be happy then you will waste time celebrating or then you will be sad and you will just cry and not study anything so like you should accept them as mock score because they are mock score like like even in elite mocks like sometimes my uh, like my ranks were not very good hmm. like so uh, like uh, at one point i even i was feeling very underconfident but i have just had to remind myself that okay they are just mocks and my main target is the d day so hmm. like that is a very important thing that i think to just so what to is your, on. what was your worst rank in your elite mock my worst rank was i think uh, 102 Hundred and two, and what was your worst rank in your CLAT mock? If you remember, if you want to put it on the records, uh, I don't remember, but I think it was something like ninety to hundred. Ninety to hundred. Uh, Abhinav, did you ever move in the in the double digit ranks or on on a very worst occasion in a triple digit rank in your mocks as well? Did that ever happen uh, to you? Yeah, I used to be mostly in the double digits. Um, double digit. I hardly ever. came into the single digits and uh, the worst rank um i don't remember my worst rank but i do remember my worst score okay um it was in a legal edge clat mock hmm. um it was 39 out of 150 so 39 was your so that would have been your lowest lowest ever mock score ha huh. uh, that was the lowest score. um this was A CLAT. Uh, this was a CLAT twenty twenty two mock. I gave it last year. You gave um, it. It was, I think, mock number thirty five for CLAT twenty twenty two. That was the lowest score I ever got. Thirty nine. Yes, Deepal, over to you. What would you like to suggest your juniors preparing for A Lit and for CLAT twenty twenty four? I mean, we'll Plus, have a, we'll we'll definitely have a separate discussion once your CLAT results are out. But yes, so what would you want to suggest and? First, I think you really need to believe that you can crack a lit because there are so many people who believe that they can't crack a lit, which is completely wrong. Because you need to go in with a winner's mindset, and only then can you win. Secondly, yeah, reading the paper and all is important. But what I used to do is I used to time box myself. So I used to like while reading the article, I would time myself even while reading the article. And then a ma'am told me to do this. And uh, moving on. Um, what else can we do i mean yeah mock scores take them seriously but not so seriously that they derail your prep that's all i would like to say because it's not like you're going to always get rank 1 in the mock plus i didn't take too many mocks i just took only legal edge mocks i think i asked karan sir and he said there's no need to go and waste time on doing different different so i just did whatever i did and yeah complacency is also very important so consistent preparation will get you where you want to go yeah that's the main take away so how is the family taking it i mean i don't know i have never scored a single digit all india rank in any of the examinations that i have wrote so i really don't know how does it feels for a family as well so you guys must have been with your family as in in the next i mean uh, in the last couple of hours so so how is the family feeling they are as excited as you or it is kind of sinking in for them as well um i would say they were even more excited than i was mm-hmm. um especially my grandmother like her expression was just <laughs> she was even more ecstatic than i was on seeing mm-hmm. my rank because i couldn't believe it but she got so incredibly happy her expression was just priceless and even my parents and everyone is very very happy but of course anything that you Encountered very different um among your family members in the uh in the last two hours. Deepal and Shubham um, or Abhinav, yeah. 
माय पेरेंट्स को लाइक व्हेन आई टोल्ड हिम द रिजल्ट लाइक फर्स्ट आई फॉर एयर टू एंड देन आई फोर्डेड टू माय पेरेंट्स लाइक इफ दिस रियल दे सेड एंड दे वर लाइक कंप्लीटली हैप्पी एंड वी वर जस्ट हगिंग ईच अदर फॉर लाइक फॉर द नेक्स्ट 5 मिनट्स ऑफ एंड देन लाइक वी वर जस्ट लाइक टॉकिंग अबाउट लाइक व्हाट नेक्स्ट एंड लाइक लाइक व्हाट्स नेक्स्ट लाइन लाइक व्हिच कॉलेज आई एम गोइंग टू चूज एंड ऑल दैट एंड लाइक we were extremely like we were extremely happy like after this interview i'm like going to the party right now are wah <laughs> cool deepal yeah they were happy especially my mom i mean she's helped me a lot hmm. even my dad my sister too i mean they've all supported me so as much as this was a test for me it was a test for them too so okay. yeah it's definitely a, they were happy too it's an awesome feeling guys i mean th- these moments just come once or twice in a lifetime i'm saying twice because i know clad 2023 results will be out as well so i'm sure you'll be as aesthetic or as happy or as delightful or as grateful you are today you'll be feeling the same on that day as well or maybe i would say a notch above this so you hardly get these moments in a life go back and enjoy with your family go back and enjoy with your cousins your siblings your family just go and hug them touch their feet i think is the best thing in the world so it might be one of those feelings jahan pe shayad ek aad bar aur kabhi mauka milega ye wali feeling ko jeene ka aisa bar bar hota nahi hai so just go there forget everything else go and spend time with your family it's a very very special moment and you guys deserved it so congratulations and i don't know whether you know this or not or um, तुम लोग बात पता भी है कि नहीं बट यू वुड बी इंस्पायरिंग अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स गोइंग फॉरवर्ड सी लुकिंग एट यू ऑल थ्री ऑफ यू राइट नाउ आई थिंक इट इज लाइक इट टेल्स एवरीवन कि बहुत सिंपल लोग भी बहुत अच्छी रैंक्स लेके आते हैं आई मीन आई कैन लुक इट एक्चुअली लुक्स ऑन द आई मीन ऑन योर फेस ऑल थ्री ऑफ यू लुक प्रिटी सिंपल एंड सोबर एंड आई डोंट नो वर्ड बट लाइक आई एम वेरी हैप्पी सींग ऑल ऑफ यू टूगेदर सो good guys i mean congratulations there's another big day coming up mostly in a week's time so just be happy about it and be happy about whatever you have achieved i mean just acknowledge the fact remember all the days that you have spent all the sacrifices that you must have done all the parties that you must have missed uh, every little moment that you sacrifice i think today is the day that you should be acknowledging and feeling happy about it just feel happy about yourself ठीक है चलो आई थिंक वील रैप इट अप आई सी यू गाइज इन अ वीक्स टाइम अगेन विद द विद द क्लैट डिस्कशन दैट दैट विल बी थोड़ा लंबा वाला बिकॉज देर विल बी मच मोर टू बी टॉक अबाउट दीपल को ऐसे देख के लग रहा है कि उसकी आंखों में आंसू आने वाले हैं क्या हुआ दीपल चलो ठीक है मिलते हैं गाइज बाय एंड गुड नाइट Bye thank you sir have a nice nice. time good night guys good night guys yeah bye bye bye